Hey guys, hey guys, it's Miriam with the Honey Bee. So I am doing this impromptu video um, just to give you a little bit, to show you how to do a PNG transparent um, background download in Canva. This came up just in a conversation with someone today and it's actually a very common um, issue that happens all the time. Um, as a person who prints t-shirts and print on apparel and different things, um, a lot of times you get designs from multiple people, some who are very um, experienced in designing and some who are not as experienced or just starting out. So, you know, usually you used to get people use graphic designers for everything, for their designs, for their logos, for their businesses. However, with technology, I mean, people don't have to use it as much anymore. I mean, there's so many apps and tools to use to get what you need done that, um, you know, people are just not necessarily always paying a graphic designer to do um, simple things anymore. But with that comes some learning curves and things that you may not know or understand. And when you send your design, for example, like me to someone to put your image or your logo or whatever it may be um, on a shirt. So a lot of times we'll get designs over and it comes and it has um, a white box background. So usually it's a white background. It could be black. It could be any color. Typically it's a white background because typically people don't see that that is there um, when they're designing because typically you're designing on a white background platform. So you may not notice that, that there's a box coming over with your design because you're thinking it's just your design. And that is not always the case. So Sometimes now when we get those designs, you can easily remove the background and and just move forward. But oftentimes you cannot, even though if it looks simple, it is always not that simple to just remove a background. Sometimes when removing that background, it completely takes away the integrity of the design and therefore your design is also distorted or um, the quality is diminished by removing that background. And sometimes you, it will remove if it's white is within the design, it may move all white. So it's removing colors in that design that, you know, white in the design that you may not want there. You just don't want that back, that um, white background. So it's so many different things. But this is about when you're designing in Canva and simply how to download your design without a transparent background. Not going into you know, design quality and all that, just the simple function of getting your image downloaded correctly without a background, with a transparent background when you send it over to someone. This helps um, helps everyone. It helps the person that you're sending it to. It saves time because your design is, you know, that's not something they have to come back with you to correct or they have to take the extra time to correct. And then it's something that you know. So when you're sending your design, you at least know that you're sending it correctly without that background. So it can be used correctly. Um, may not matter as much when you're printing materials like invitations or, you know, things to that nature, business cards, but it will matter when it goes to a printing on apparel or cups or other items. So want to get right into it and hopefully I don't really do these recordings and and zooms and stuff so I'm going to try and hopefully you can see the screens when I pull them up on what I'm trying to um, show you because I'm going to go into two different apps just so you can fully see what I'm meaning by these designs um, by the transparent background so um, let me share my screen to get in Canva let's go to all right, so here we are in Canva, and let me show you. I was going to take my face. Let me take my face. Oh, I'll leave me there. All right, so you're going into Canva. So hopefully, if you are downloading from Canva, you already know how to get into Canva to get into your document. I just went into a regular document, eight and a half by 11. So let's just scroll, find an image. Let's use this image here. So say this is the image. You want to put this young lady on a t-shirt. You want to put her on a t-shirt. Um, and so you, you have this design ready to go and you need to send it to whomever. All right. So first, let's back up. First thing that you should do when you're in Canva, anytime you have a design, because a lot of times people may use images from a variety of places. So 
to confirm that your image itself does not have a background. Because when you're looking at this, you're, you're looking good. Why is the normal set of mind that, okay, nothing's behind my image, my image looks good. To double check that your image doesn't have a background, simply click this background in Canva and you can go here and just change it to any color, preferably a color that's not dominant in your design. So we just change it to black. And as you can see here, this image itself has a white background. So how do we just download and send it, send this image, even if you do what I'm going to show you with a transparent background, this white box here would have still been there. So this is number one to check and make sure that your design, your image itself does not have a white background. Just simply change your background color in Canva and you will be able to see. All right. All right. That's just that's number one. Well, let me go in while I'm in here. So if your image does have this, if you have the paid version of Canva, I don't think it's in the free version, but if you have the paid version of Canva, of Canva, you can easily remove this. Let me take that back. It is not always easily removable. And you will find out if you, you know, start doing this more. But sometimes you can remove that background within Canva. So you will go to edit photo. And right here, BG remover, BG remover, bam, takes away that black, that white background. And now, you know, you have your image. This, you know, now it's a transparent image. There is no background within the image. That is one way to do it. Now, there are two ways that you can do this in Canva. So let's go back. All right. The other way, uh, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Let me bring her back in. Okay. So the other way thing that you can do is click the image, go back to edit photo and Canva has upgraded and they have so many things and so many options to use to help you with your designs now. So if you have the paid version, you will see this magic grab. Bam, hit magic grab. What magic grab do as opposed to removing the background, because as you can see, this is finished doing what it's doing. It stopped it blank, but you see that white background is still there because what Magic Grab does is it just takes your image. So Magic Grab finds your image and it just pulls your image out of that background. Doesn't mean that that background is gone. It pulls your image. So now I can move my image. You see, I can move my image around. That is so helpful when, say, this is just a plain white background. I probably don't want to do anything with it. But say it was a background that you may, you know, want to use, but you may want to duplicate and do multiple things with your design. So, you know, where you can change it into different, different backgrounds. So now you can move her out of that white box and, you know, you can put her in whatever background you want to put her in, you know? That is just one thing that is if you have the paid version. Um, and then if you don't want this white, again, you just delete the white box. All that still give you the transparent image. All right. So we now have our transparent image. We know that it's transparent. We've double checked it on the color, right? So we're back here in our white. We want to download it because we want to make sure to not download any of those other backgrounds that we don't want. So our image is now ready. And Typically, you go here, you share, and you go to download and download your image, all right? That's you downloading that. Now, I'm going to go into Corel Draw for a second. So I'm going to stop sharing my Canva and share my Corel Draw to show you what that looked like. That's the standard way and what most people are doing when they're downloading their image. They're just downloading it like that. And that's what, and it's sending your image over with the white background. Well, let me show you. All right, let's stop share there. Let's share and then all right, share screen. And I'm going to go in Corel Draw. Corel Draw is typically what I use. People use all kind of things. That well, I use Corel Draw, I use Illustrator, use Photoshop, whatever gets the job done. But my primary go-to is Corel Draw, um, which is a um, paragraphic design type software. So this is where I typically pull my images into. So say you sent me your image in Canva and so I now have your image that you emailed me and it's on my computer. These are other ones I was practicing. 31, this is the image we just downloaded from Canva, all right? 
So when I pull that in, downloading how I just downloaded it, and what do you see? A white background. Even though we removed the original white background from the image, because of the way we just downloaded it straight from Canva, Canva is taking that whole page as your design. So it's downloading that page, not that image. So it's going to download that white background or whatever color your background may have been. It's going to download, download that um, when you download your image and you send it. So even though, again, it's looking right to you, when it comes over to the other side, this is what would be printing on your item. It will be printing her with a background image, and that is not what we want. All right. So let's go back to Canva. All right. All right. We're back in here in Canva, and so we're back to this image. This is so simple. We're going to do the same step. Go here to share, and then go to download. This box right here that is just overlooked because people just don't know. I mean, if you don't know what you don't know, you know, so you have it here. PNG correct is what we want, but you want to make sure and check this transparent background back um, box. This is what sends your image as a transparent background. So check that box download. So she's downloading again. This is going to be number 32. All right, now let's go back into our Corel draw. All right, so now this time when you sent it to Mr. and Mrs. Printer and we go and we get your design that you've emailed us, we check it, we import it and put it on here, voila. And that is what we want. We don't have the white background. Other thing, just why I'm looking at this, I want to mention too. So if you do with that transparent background, now this is how it comes over to us. Now this is how we want it. We want it without that white background. All right. So this is correct. Now, the other thing, if you are able to in, in Canva, I'm going to show you how. This is the other thing. Typically, when someone sends me a design, either whether it's for DTF transfers to go on a shirt, cup, bag, whatever they want. When they send me the design that's been designed in Canva, it comes over. It comes over like this, meaning you see these black marks right here. This is what marks the size of this design. So when you see this design says 8.489 by 10.99, which is your 8 by 5. I mean, eight by 11, really, eight and a half by 11. This is not the size of my image itself, which is all that I want. This is what Canva has completely sent over. So this is including this blank space above, beside, and below her. So if you go to print this on a design, your image is not going to be this eight and a half by 11 because that eight and a half by 11 includes blank space. So what I have to do when I get these designs is just crop it, which is not a big deal. Cropping is easily, not for me. Now, when it gets into, you have a bunch of stuff coming at one time, it can get fine because I'm going to have to go and do that because you want your files to be ready to go. And some people, again, will not accept your designs if they are not sized correctly if they're not completely ready to go where they don't have to do edits or they may charge you to edit it but let me show you so typically when i get it i go ahead and crop it and i get it as close to the image as possible so we can have a more accurate size when we're designing on the shirt because we don't want to put um you know thinking that we have a large size design and it's really not so when i crop this out and now you see my actual design size is uh, 6.8 by 6.9. That would be the size that would be going on your shirt. And then I can just size it to, you know, the actual size I want it on the shirt. And it will be pretty much accurate. Okay. That's that. Main thing though, you see, there is no white background. Simply check that transparent background button in Canva. That little button makes a world of difference. Share, download. But before you download it, 
Check this box for transparent background. Check this box. And that's how you get your image over for, um, get your image downloaded without a back, with a transparent background, without that white box, black box, or whatever color box. Transparent background is, is which is what you need. That's what this video is about. So that's shown. I do want to do one other thing just while, because I mentioned it with size. And I'm not sure if you can do this in the unpaid version of Canva. I think this is only for the paid version of Canva. But again, how I told you, Canva is going to print the size of the document and not the image size when it comes over. So you have to crop it. One thing, of course, you can try to build out your image as close as possible. I don't like to distort my images, so I'm not going to go and try to figure out how to pull it to the top, pull it to the bottom. That's going to change the design. I know I want my design a certain size. Again, I think this is only in the paid version. If I go here to magic switch and I will be able to resize my design. And I believe you can resize, you can automatically do a custom size design when you are going to create your um, design in Canva. Nonetheless, what you would do is just go to custom size and whatever size you want it to be. So if I know I want my image to be um, 11 and a half wide, I might make it 12 wide on here. And I'm going to have my image, um, I don't know how far off these dimensions are. Let's see, it's not that far off. So let's see. Put that custom size. And let's do, what did I say? If I want it to be 11 and a half, I do 12. And then maybe long, I'm just going to say 13 and a half. If I want it 13 long. Now, did it copy and resize? Or is it thinking? All right, my canvas thinking right now, I guess, because I'm not able to do anything. Um, so we'll see if it lets me do what I want to show you guys. And again, I think this is only in the paid version of Canva. I do not think you can do this in the unpaid version. You may be able to, I don't know why that's doing whatever. Let's just see. Let's go back to home here. Ain't she pretty? I'm about to do something with her. Um, I created her and she's about to go on a shirt. Right. I don't know what's happening with my other. It's my internet is moving a little slow now. All right. Let's see if you can. When you go here, create a design. I just wanted to see if it was an option to do a custom size. For some reason, I thought it was in Canva. I'm not going to waste time on this video. Maybe I can figure it out. Maybe it is. Um, I don't ever do it that way, so waste that time. Let's go back and see if if this ever resized. I don't think it did. Let's go back in here. I see it all right now. I'm just going to resize this design. So now my image is more full to the design, right? Pull around as much as we can. And here I may can't, but all right. Let's just see. What can I get her to? All right. You got it 11 and a half. All right. How far can we go? Great, thank you, internet. <laughs> so my internet does not want me to show you guys that nonetheless, that is not what the video is. The video was to show you how to download real life, right? This is what happens. Okay, I can't do it right now and I'm not gonna hold up the video for it. So how to download your PNG image with a transparent background, simple in Canva. When you hit download, check that transparent background box and then download it and voila. All right, I hope this was helpful for someone. You guys have a wonderful day and remember to always be the best you that you can be. All right, bye-bye.